Welcome to Eurochem TV, where we discuss and demonstrate all things Eurochem. Today's topic is the proper use and application of Eurochem Slick Base Base Coat. Slick Base is made from urethane prepolymer co reactants of both acrylic and polyester chemistries combined with automotive grade pigments to make thousands of colors engineered to withstand demanding automotive applications. The original Slick Base product is not compliant for use in low VOC regulated markets. However, we do offer a low VOC version of Slick Base, which is compliant in low VOC markets, including most of California, Maryland, Delaware, and other areas as regulations evolve. We will cover the use of Slick Base low VOC in another video, so be sure to follow our channel for more information. Be sure to check local regulations before deciding which version of Slick Base is best for your application. Slick Base is recommended over properly prepared Eurochem primer and cured OEM automotive finishes. Use over other brands primers or existing finishes of unknown quality can result in failure. Before you start mixing and painting, make sure your parts have been sanded and cleaned properly and conditions are good for painting. To properly prepare your parts for paint, use Eurochem's SBWG Wax and Grease Remover, then dry sand with P600 grit and clean again with SBWG. SBWG should be wiped on wet, then wiped dry with a separate lint-free cloth. For more details on the proper use of our surface cleaners, refer to our video text sheet for the proper use of surface cleaners on our website or here on Eurochem TV. As with any automotive finish, proper painting conditions are important for obtaining the best results. It's best to paint in temperatures above 60 degrees Fahrenheit part temperature. Keep in mind that outside conditions are brought into your paint booth through your booth intake. Moisture should be a concern when applying automotive finishes, so unless your paint booth has the ability to heat your parts well above the dew point, you should not paint when raining, dew on the ground, or fog in the air. Parts painted at temperatures near the dew point can easily condensate thin layers of moisture which are often not visible on the part or in the paint film itself, but can cause failure to the finish. Low humidity blue sky days are the best conditions for painting provided you can get your part temperatures above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you have your parts ready to paint and the conditions are good, Start by wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment and only use this product in areas that are free of ignition sources such as heat, sparks, or open flames. Slick base should be stirred well prior to mixing for spray. Hand stirring with a paint stick is generally sufficient to reincorporate any solids that may have settled to the bottom over time. Like many of the market leading European brands, Slick base mixes 2 to 1 by volume with urethane reducer. Select Eurochem reducers UR10, 11, or 12 based on the temperature and the size of the area you are painting. While not required, adding 10% UA41 activator after reducing improves adhesion, chip resistance, and overall toughness of the paint system. Eurochem mixing cups have a 2 to 1 to 10% column to easily mix slick base accurately. If you are new to paint mixing cups, we go into this in more detail with our video on how to use Eurochem paint cups. Once you have combined the paint, reducer, and optionally activator, mix well with a paint stick, scraping the sides and bottom occasionally to ensure it all gets mixed in properly. Then pour through a strainer into your paint gun. For best atomization, spray pressures should be set to 20 to 36 PSI at the trigger for gravity fed HVLP guns or 40 to 55 PSI for siphon fed guns. For reduced pressure spray guns, refer to the gun's manufacturer's recommendations for a good starting point. Paint guns equipped with a 1.3 mm or 1.4 mm fluid tip are considered optimal, but smaller or larger fluid tips may be satisfactory depending on your setup. One often forgotten setting is your fluid or trigger adjustment. The knob behind the trigger on your spray gun is what controls how much fluid is released to the spray head. Too much material released results in larger droplets and too much material applied and too little material results in smaller droplets which can lead to dry spray. Each time you use your gun it's a good practice to screw the fluid adjustment clockwise all the way to hand tight then count the rotations as you turn it counterclockwise to open it up. 
with slick base three turns out from hand tight is generally a good starting point. Now spray a test panel to check your settings. Your spray pattern should be a tight and uniform ellipse. If not, then you may need to clean some of the small airways in your spray tip or air cap. Once you have a good spray pattern, spray your test panel to make sure the product flows well and you're happy with your settings. Apply two to four medium wet coats with 50 to 75% overlap. Over application of base coat is a common error, so be sure to avoid applying wet or shiny coats. A six to eight inch fan pattern at approximately a six inch standoff or distance from the surface is a good general rule. For harder to spray metallics and pearl colors, a 75% overlap followed with a drop or mist coat for your final coat will help ensure an even appearance. For more on this subject, look for our video on spray practices for applying effect finishes. Be sure to allow 15 minutes flash time between each coat to avoid solvent entrapment. After your last coat, clean your gun immediately with a gun cleaning solvent, lacquer thinner, acetone, or MEK. Check local regulations for compliant gun cleaner options. Slick base should be allowed to flash for at least one hour at 75 degrees Fahrenheit and not allowed to dry more than 24 hours before applying your next layer. It is safe to apply tape for graphics or two-tone jobs after one hour at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. If slick base dries for more than 24 hours, it is recommended to scuff lightly with a sanding pad and reapply at least one more coat of slick base. That's a wrap for our video on the proper use of Eurochem Slick Base Base Coat Color. This product and many more available online at www.thecoatingstore.com or ask your local auto paint dealer to contact us to become a stocking distributor. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, Eurochem TV, so you don't miss other great videos. Thanks for joining us.